Hello again. Um, this video is to go over what I learned from uh, Jay Price's link that he sent me uh, in the SG book, the, the beginner, this number two. Uh, it goes over or reviews what the first book talks about, uh, basically potentializing batteries so that they become useful in other ways. Uh, and I read that when I started this seven months ago, and I'm like, oh yeah, but I didn't really, I always thought if it just charges the secondary uh, faster, then, you know, if you charge better, but it's not, I don't, now I don't think it's like that. I think it's more about creating a potential within the batteries, and then you work off of that, which is what they talk about. So, having said that, I'm going to go over some changes I've done um, since then, and um, plus also, I have a uh, surprise as well, so we'll show you that. Alright, cheers. Okay, so here's the circuit as before. However, now we're not using the, the cap dump that's disconnected. Okay, so I've got it running off the wall with a 12 volts, 4 amp supply, something like that. It's not getting too hot, like these are ice cold with the fan on them even when it's running, I think it's pulling about 2, 2.5 amps, which I believe would be the C20 rating of one of these 69.1 amp hour batteries, I'm pretty sure. So, first question is, so the C20 rate of this battery would be, say, say 2.4 amps. So now that there's four, is the C20 rate 2.4 times four? It must be, but I want to, excuse me, <clears throat> confirm that. So anyway, that's what I'm doing, and I have had this running now for 48 hours. These were at 11.9, and now they're at 13.8. It's going up slow, but it's going. My question is, will these will these ever get to 15, or are they that uh, sulfated? I don't know. Or maybe there's more to that. But I'm just going to let it go. Because everyone who I've talked to and read says it takes months. So fine. Those are going to get to months. I'm just going to leave them there and let that thing run. So that's cool. But what I hope to do then is to go through the pr charging process that's outlined in the SG Part 2 Beginner's Book and hopefully apply this. So, on to the surprise I have. Okay, so the surprise is uh, the Vortex Coil combined with a, a solid state Bedini circuit. Uh, a couple months ago I started checking out uh, Daniel Nunez's uh, coils, they're cool, I built one, and uh, I just decided to hook it up, it worked right away, and it's charging very well, and I, I have it on, a, uh, on an AC supply as well, the supply is uh, 12 volt, 1 amp, and it ran here just before I did this for at least half an hour, and it was cold, but it makes a funny sound, so we're going to hear that. And also, I mean, this circuit is half of a circuit that I took off my old bike wheel. So, I mean, I don't have all the strands. This is a very minimal setup of stuff I had laying around. But, having said that, it's doing very well. So much so that I almost want to start, I want to build one of these better with more strands and use that to charge, to, to work on these batteries here. Okay, here's the circuit. Cap diode mod. One pot's in series, one pot is in parallel with the cap. Three of these are working. Uh, okay, those are transistors, obviously. All the connectors. See, this comes out in two stems. One stem gets power, the other stems go to the transistors, and then you have your trigger. So, eight watts. 12, 4, 9 going. There it is up at 12, 7, 6. 
And here are the neons.